Hello. So, I don't know how this happened, but um, I just received an email recently saying that uh, my Dorothy Must Die book review um, has had like over 100 views, which is weird because I, I only have like, I don't think I even have 70 subscribers. So, whether it was just one person viewing it a lot of times or lots of different people viewing it, um, thank you for that. That is pretty awesome. What I'll do is I will leave that uh, a link to that review below. Um, it's a spoiler-free review, so if you want to know about Dorothy Must Die, but you don't want to know any spoilers, um, you can go check out that review. Uh, so today, I'm here with a little ARC, ARC copy book haul um, and something else. So, uh, the first things I was sent for review were these, and these are stuff every husband should know and stuff every mum should know. Um, I thought this was every student should stuff every student should know, but they sent me stuff every mum should know, which I'm not really bothered about. Um, but I sent these for review by Quirk, as you can oh, as you can see. Um, yeah, and they're just like little guides, stuff everyone should know. So like, in the stuff every husband should know, there's things like how to dress yourself, and there's pictures and stuff like this. Um, and there's stuff like how to remember things men don't remember and how to fold clothes and stuff like that so this will be really interesting and it's just a small little book it's not very long um, yeah I just thought they were really cool um, and then this one stuff every mum should know has things like uh, how to stock your medicine cabinet and making a long wait fun and you can see there's a picture with like characters on fingers and stuff like this and five dates that don't require a babysitter uh yeah so that's these i sent these by quirk so thank you quirk for those and they look really nice together actually on the shelf i might email uh my contact at quirk back and ask if i can have over stuff uh, stuff every student should know. Um, but yeah, so I always like to have these. And then I was sent a couple of books for review uh, from Canongate. And the first one is To the Letter by Simon Garfield. And I really like this cover, it's really nice. And this effectively is it says a curious history of correspondence, that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, there's loads of things in here. There's things like how to write the perfect letter. Um, here is a picture of the fourth Earl of Chesterfield, and like he was famous for writing letters, sitting on his sofa and writing long letters. Um, yeah, and there's literally just a history of letters. Like there's some, it includes some letters, and um, there's some letters from like royalty to people, and uh, there's like I think there's a letter from Marcus Aurelius, apparently, whoever he is, I don't know who he is, but yeah, that's that one, uh, and I really like the spine on that one, and they also sent me The World According to Gogglebox, um, this is the official companion to the hit TV show, um, and this, if you don't know what Gogglebox is, it's a British or English TV show, um, where it's just lots of members of the British public watching TV and then you're watching them watch TV and you're watching their reactions and stuff so that's quite interesting uh, yeah and I like Gogglebox it's really funny and there's some people there who are included in the TV show yeah and this is like literally just lots of stuff about what people think about things on TV you know, the people from the show and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm squinting a bit, the sun's really bright. But yeah, there's like cool cartoon versions of people and stuff as well. So yeah, looking forward to getting into this. Sorry, I can hear a buzzing and it's really annoying me. Um, yeah, and then the last book I have to show you is Splintered by A.G. Howard. 
Oh, yeah, there's the fly. Uh, Splinter by A.G. Howard. Uh, this is like a... This is a buddy read, Halloween buddy read, I'm doing with Erin from Rats Queen and Ryan from Ryan Reads Books. Um, and yeah, it's basically a darker reimagining of Alice in Wonderland. Um, and I'm only on chapter... Th whoops. I'm only on chapter three. Um, but there is a reason for this, but you'll find out in my review. Uh, but yeah, if you look, like the text is written in purple like this light purple which I think is awesome um, and you know you guys know how I feel about headed chapters there's headed chapters and I love headed chapters yeah so that's what I'm reading and uh, the plan with this is that we're all going to read it sorry I lost my bookmark so I need to use something so I don't lose the page yeah and the plan with this is me and Ryan and Erin are reading this and when we finished it we're going to upload our reviews on the 31st of October. Um, and I really like doing read-alongs with those two people because, uh, or buddy reads with them too. Sorry, the glare from this is horrible. I'm going to put this down. Yeah, I like doing buddy reads with Erin uh, and Ryan because we don't set ourselves goals. We just read as we do. And then we all check with each other if we've finished. And then we do our reviews and upload them. So, you know, there's no, like, restrictions or anything. So, yeah. So that's my video. Um, like I said, I'll leave my link, the link to my Dorothy Must Die review below, um, so you can check that out. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye, internet. <laughs>